<laughs> shalom, shalom. Uh, 9 2022. <clears throat> this is my Babylon review. Um, this is coming from Matthew 25 and 13. I'll read it for you. Uh, hold on, let me get back to it. <laughs> Matthew 25 and 13. Stay awake, therefore, because you do not know the day or the hour, okay? You don't know the day or the hour when his majesty will be revealed. However, we know the seasons and we know the time. And we are in a time of ripe season. And uh, just because... You don't see his majesty coming in the clouds, right? Coming in the sky. You might see him in death. You understand that? And that's what I want to get into right now. Um, The other day I said I would give you four. Or I would give you some other outlets where you can get a better world perspective of what other nations are saying in the world news media. Okay? See? GTN, okay, that's a good one. They have an app. It's from the it's from the Asian China perspective. Uh, they deal with that part of the world. Al Jazeera is good. You have to be mindful to wade through some of the things that they say, but they usually give you the breaking news of straight out of the horse's mouth, where you can hear it for yourself, translate it into our uh, English. RepublicWorld.com. This is the Indian perspective. It could get a little rambunctious, but once you know the Indian culture and delve into it, you'll understand their dialogue and how they talk. Um, they really get into it <laughs> when they're talking about their national issues and world stage issues. Okay, so those are three uh, resources right now that's available. I would have uh, recommended the Duran Report. You know, you can watch that if you want to. Um, but that's more of a one-on-one -on -one analysis of the day's uh, thing that's going on in Europe. Okay, from a European perspective. Um, stay awake, okay? Because <clears throat> as the fourth seal uh, finish unfolding... And, and, and the effects of the third seal <laughs> is also still uh, unfolding, um, you have to be calm, okay? You have to be calm in this time and this age. Be calm and stay awake. Estates of, of the realm. Estates of the realm, okay? We want to stay awake because we have to know what is going on with the estate, the states of the realm. You can look it up. You probably can't see it on the board. This is just my notes, but it's called estates of the realm. This is how this is the hierarchy of the Christian world. This is the class system of the so-called Christian world. OK, and that world is divided into four classes. Uh, in ancient Roman time, it was the clergy, nobility, the peasants and the uh, bourgeoisies, uh, the burgher and the merchant people. Okay, today we call them different. Today we call it the church, uh, the political institutions, the middle class, and your small local mom and pop business and your local uh, everyday heroes okay your local citizen okay what the powers what the church is trying to do is consolidate the power okay they want to consolidate the political and the church power political and church power but from all, for, in order for them to do that, they have to remove the small business, the local citizens' power, and they have to remove the middle class power, right? And they have to bring in a political merchant 
class of people. Okay, today we call it big tech, the giants of corporations. That's what they want to have. So they want to have church, political, and big uh, corporate power, fascist, uh, fascist power. And they're doing it. Uh, over in Europe, they're nationalizing their gas, uh, meaning that they're pulling that technology, that uh, resource under the umbrella of the political power because the small business and the middle class they have no credit, okay? Not money, credit. They have no credit to um, afford the services that is given or being uh, given to the um, uh, uh, given by the uh, big corporations. So they're nationalizing that, meaning that they're putting it into the national debt of the people, and that is going to weigh on the burden. That's going to put a burden on the three classes that they got rid of your local citizen your small business and your middle class that's going to put the weight on them uh to carry the load and the burden while the church the political powers and the merchants have their free uh roam of the realm okay meaning that they rules for, rules for them is different from the rules that you have okay um so that's what we need to stay awake about. But if you be calm enough, right? And you have already entered into the kingdom of heaven. You have accepted Yeshua as your Lord. And you have accepted the scriptures, the testimony of the kingdom. You've confessed your sins. You're walking out the righteous life. You've been baptized um, both in body and in spirit, okay? That means you have given the seal of eternal life. You enter into um, the kingdom, right? You have the promises of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? You have the blessings, um, uh, the blessings of the Messiah when he says that you shall have uh, life and life abundantly. However, that life does not mean that you won't have trials and tribulations, okay? It doesn't mean that everything is going to be easy and peaceful. It doesn't mean that everything is just going to be falling out your lap, easy to go, easy come. No, you have to still put in, put in the work. But if you persevere and you be consistent in your, in your doings, you will see the fruits of your labor, okay? You have to be planning. You have to be... Uh, sowing so that you can receive the roots uh, the fruits of your labor and you cannot be no lone wolf you have to have team uh, teams of people or contacts and networks that will help you build um, build on the foundations or on the seeds that you have planted okay you have to have that so the states of the realm is under attack. And the ones that's under attack is your middle class and your local small business um, people. With the ESG, uh, social government score, uh, uh, central bank digital currencies, which is already here. They're already ready to go. Okay, They just need the right moment and the right time to bring it in. Um, but remember, it would be partly weak and partly strong. Excuse me. You have to be calm in these times. Uh, and don't think, don't sit back and think, um, hold on. Uh, don't think, don't sit back and think just because you haven't been affected by the earthquake. You haven't been affected by the floods. You haven't been affected by the hurricanes, the storms. You haven't been uh, affected by um, job loss. Um, uh, uh, what else? Uh, famine. That you haven't been affected by these things. That you have somehow have escaped the trials and the tribulations. No, it just means that you may have you may have you may have incurred favor with the Most High, and He is protecting you and giving you your due bread in due season. Okay, and you shouldn't take that for grant for granted. I give you the I paraphrase the parable a parable when the Messiah healed 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 ten um, people who were sick. Um, and 
only one of them turned around and turned around and blessed God, okay, and give thanks and praise uh, for that blessing that God has given. That's my 10 minutes of your time. I'll see you on the next one. Shalom.